And somehow I would be operating from that place while I'm blaming the society or other people and then completely be uh, blinded and not pay any attention to this ugly monster. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> I got a nasty cold last week, so, and it's still lingering around. Um, does anybody have any questions? Anybody uh, feel like asking any questions or feeling like sharing? <coughs> Let's see. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hilda, did you want to say something? Me? Yeah. No, not at, not at the moment. Right, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, has anyone... Um, felt or have seen and noticed this uh, fraction of our society of how e egoistic it's become or how its focus has changed from the world of spirit and spiritual values and really has become so focused on money and wealth and wealth accumulation. Have you noticed that? Anybody? Rosalie. Yes. I can't understand that people never are grateful for what they have. They are greedy, they want more. Say that part again. I said I can't understand that people are not grateful for what they have. Everybody wants more. And if the neighbor has something new, they're not happy with him, but they want to buy something better than him. Right. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, that, well, that's basically a manifestation of the ego. That's uh, it's a representation of how the ego works. So, but basically it comes to a false identification. All of it comes to um, this identification that what I am or what I have, the way I am is not enough. So there's something missing in me and I need to add up more to it. No, they understand. There are times it's just need, and and that part I get it. That there is need. That of course we all have our needs, but then uh, what I'm referring to is to this part of us, this part of our psyche, our ego, that. It's never enough. And more. I need more. I need more. Because what happens is this part is being reinforced the, the, by the more accumulation of whatever it is. Whatever that is. Accumulating more. And I'm not saying, look, there's nothing wrong. Don't take me wrong. There's nothing wrong for striving to be wealthy, to be well off, and to accomplish, and to be a winner in life. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. Where the problem is, is that when 
we lose our integrity and we lose our focus that we replace the spirit we replace love we replace god we replace the heart center with the mind with the world and accumulation of wealth or possessions becomes the number one thing and it starts to consume us so that's where it becomes unhealthy and dangerous to ourselves and to other people and that's where it brings envy and it brings hate and it takes us to places that becomes very damaging that we're willing to cheat or to destroy families or lie or whatever we have to do in order to get more because what it does is there's this false identification by getting more there is there's this sense of security that is going to make me feel more secure if I get more if, if I accumulate, which it just doesn't exist because that's not where security comes. It's like putting our attention on the wrong place and trying to make things safe, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I can get more and more and more and more but if I feel insecure inside myself and I feel empty within myself, that remains the same. It doesn't matter how much more I add up to what I already have. That sense of empty, emptiness, that lack doesn't disappear because it's not the stuff that are going to make it go away. It's the, the lack of this, the spirit is by not being focused on what is really important and not really coming back home into where it's secure, where it's safe. And that is to go beyond the mind to go to this place that you can see the ego and you know, where you can come to a silent quiet place within yourself and then in arriving in this quiet silent place within yourself is there is that immediate understanding immediately there's the understanding that i am complete i am whole and there's nothing missing I'm, I'm safe and secure. That sense of security and safety is within ourselves. And we can see it. You can look at it into different layers of society and you can just very clearly see it in history of how throughout the history with kings and queens and different governments or regimes, different corporations, ec economies, they have fallen into the same trap over and over again by putting their attention and their focus on the wrong sense of uh, security and ultimately trying to accumulate more and conquer more land or more wealth or whatever, which basically led them to their own destruction. And that is what is happening right now in our world. 